A little ball. When a woman's frightened, she goes out and buys herself a hat. You mean you scare us so that we'll buy more? So that, so that money moves quicker, production moves up? We don't say scare when we talk about human beings. We say uh, threaten them emotionally. And there are all sorts of ways of doing Not just the big ones, like the hydrogen bomb. Overcrowd them a little with bad planning. Sell them too many motor cars. Anything to keep them a little bit removed from reality. Nowadays, people don't work for money. They work for the idea of money. They don't even love for love. They love for the idea of love. They only hate for the idea of hate. It took us five years to find a non-addictive drug, one we could pay off against the hard drugs, LSD. You marketed that? Oh, yes, of course, and for a very good reason. Some of these protest movements were getting a little bit too close to the mark. LSD gave them nice little hallucinations. Made them talk like three-year-olds. <laughs> Throw flowers at policemen. Shall we talk terms? You're not still going to ask me to work for you. I'm afraid I've had to put all this rather bluntly. You see, there wasn't really very much time. Uh, it must be rather a shock. Uh, well, I mean... Most people realize that the world is controlled from about six big cities. But it must be rather shocking to learn that a sixth of the world is controlled from this building. You mean you? Oh, no. I only rate an office on the seventh floor. There are two other offices above this one. And a giant computer system. Link number four in world control. A computer? What's so remarkable about that? It's just a machine that can store a vast amount of information. A machine that knows too bloody much. Now you're being hysterical about it. Computer's very simple. You feed data into it. Anything from the Wall Street closing prices to the North Atlantic weather. Reports. And you and get you... decisions. <laughs> that machine's taken you over. It's just a machine. Extra hands for the people who know how to control it. Well, th this one uh, above us, it's, um, it it's square, in a, in a box. Yeah, I suppose you could call it square in a sort of a box. Do you know why I go away at weekends? To get away from people in boxes. They live in boxes. They get their thoughts, their problems and their answers out of boxes. And I like to get away at weekends because they're not people anymore. Now, you know all about me, my cottage in Hampshire. But did you know that there's a line of trees that goes right up past the house and the noise they make is, is like the sea? Did you know that I find it difficult to sleep in the country and I like to go and stand in the garden before dawn and I feel good because I know that my wife and my children are asleep inside and I like to go out and walk past the wet hedgerows until I can see pasture land and, and the smoke from the cottages in the this village. This may be all very well for one of your grassroots programmes but I'm afraid time is running out. I ought to tell you, we pay a great deal of money. We can afford to. We save such a lot on things like the national defence budget and so on. We would start you off at a quarter of a million pounds a year. Oh. Rising to a million when you make the Ministry of Morality, which I know you will. Will you let me out of here? One little point. I should have told you about these uh, surgical transmitters. There's enough of this stuff inside you at this moment to kill six people. There's a button we can press. I'm sorry about the dramatics. <laughs> Our boys call these things the oral contraceptive. Keeps them from talking too much. So there must be one of those transmitters inside you. Who presses the button? Extra hands. All this stuff about the computer being extra hands for the men and how to control it. That machine controls you. You start on Monday. A 
early controversial classics from Dennis Potter next weekend with the first of the Nigel Barton plays on Saturday.